So Monday night on Raw, Stephanie McMahon made a huge announcement. Huge announcement. January 28th, 2018, Philadelphia. The 2018 Royal Rumble will not only have the traditional 30-man over-the-top rope Battle Royal Royal Rumble match, but for the first time in history, the girls can play too. They're getting their own Royal Rumble match. How cute is that? Some women's revolution, right? This is awesome. This is incredible. Anything the boys can do, the girls can do too. You know what I say to the whole premise and concept of this women's Royal Rumble match? Big whoop de doo and most importantly, humbug. Like first, how many women do you even have? Especially if you're thinking about doing a 30-woman Royal Rumble match. Like if you take out the Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion, you maybe have, what, 10 on Raw and maybe 10 on SmackDown if you threw like a returning Nikki Bella into the mix? So you've got 20 people. 20. That means you need to come up with 10. And maybe you can, bringing people up from NXT, a couple of old surprises from the past. Maybe that's the way you get to 30, if you're going to get to 30. But even when you look at it, how many women do you have that you really even take seriously? How many women do you really trust that can actually pull off this match? Like even if you say, well, every year the Royal Rumble has a few job guys, and it most certainly does, but you still trust them to a certain degree to be able to do their job. How many of these women do you really trust to be able to go out there and make the Royal Rumble match work for the ladies? And they feel like it's a fair question. The next concern, this is a bigger concern, is with two Royal Rumble matches on the card, that's potentially two hours, or close to it, worth of Battle Royals. And don't get me wrong, the Royal Rumble is the most unique match the WWE has. As a result, it's the most unique show in a lot of ways that the WWE has. In the old pay-per-view business model days, there was a reason it was traditionally the second most bought pay-per-view every single year, even over like Survivor Series and SummerSlam. Because it was the start to the road to WrestleMania, the Royal Rumble had all types of different things going for it. But now you're talking about having two of these damn matches. Taking up two hours close to it of a four-hour show. Sometimes too much of a good thing is too much of a good thing. And let's call it as we see it. The Royal Rumble gets by in part because it's unique. Because this exact match only happens once a year. But the real truth of the matter is, the Royal Rumble is a long haul. It can be a drag at times. It can be very slow moving. It can be a lot of things that aren't exactly great. That you overcome that because you get the surprise returns. You get the occasional big moment. And the fact that the match only happens once a year. Now the match is going to happen twice on the same show. And it feels like it takes away from some of the uniqueness and some of the special feeling of the guys Royal Rumble because now we've got to have a freaking women's one too so you got two of them like how is WWE going to be able to plan this out and book this right knowing so many things that they do with the women even to this day with the sold called women's revolution they don't do well it feels like either this match is going to be too short and stupid where they're going to try and rush through it and it's going to be all types of a hodgepodge freaking mess or it's going to be too long and way too goddamn boring with way too few things actually happening. And all the special feelings that you get and all the uniqueness you get, this is the first ever Women's Royal Rumble match, will quickly evaporate. Like I just watched Clash of Champions this past Sunday. And that Lumberjill match, even though they called them Lumberjacks, even though Lumberjill is a phrase, it is a real word, that would be appropriate because they are Lady Lumberjacks, was horrible. Like, they couldn't even do a championship match right. They couldn't even do a Lumberjill match right. And now we're having confidence that the WWE is going to be able to do a whole women's Royal Rumble match right? Give me a freaking break. And then, knowing all the work and planning and strategy that goes into piecing together every element of the men's Royal Rumble match, now you're just creating even more workload for everybody behind the scenes trying to plan out a second one. So how much does it impact the one that really matters, the one that really makes the money for you? And then on top of all that, 
with Stephanie McMahon talking about how this being another historic first, at some point in time, you run out of historic first. At some point in time, there has to be some substance there. At some point in time, you have to write for and book these ladies better. They should have better. They deserve better. And for this type of stuff to work, you need to do it better. And the simple fact of the matter is the WWE just doesn't. Then, when you look at the talent roster itself, does it really strike you as a talent roster that is justified in having a Royal Rumble match? Do you really feel like there's a lot of female star power in there? And again, I understand you could have a couple of debuts, a couple of people from NXT, a couple of returning faces from the past, and so on and so forth. But that would be very fleeting. And then if you're talking about bringing up ladies from NXT, they're even greater as goose shit than the ones on the main roster already. Like with the WWE and the Men's Royal Rumble, you have 30 people, but it's not every single person on the roster. And everybody can go in there and have a role and so forth. And even in recent years where the star power has decreased significantly, there's no question about it. Still, when you look at the roster on the men's side compared to the women's side, give me a break. And it really feels like this was just about giving Stephanie McMahon another freaking glory spot. That's exactly what it feels like. How many glory spots does this bitch need? Why does it always have to be about her? It's whatever. Look, if you're going to enjoy the Women's Royal Rumble, that's fine. If you were excited about it, I guess that's fine too. But what makes you think that this is going to end well. What makes you think, based off of the WWE's own history, that this is going to be fantastic? What makes you think that this is going to be anything other than a bootleg bullshit version of the real thing? Because every time I remember, for women's battle royals, they don't even go over the top freaking rope! So that's exactly what this is. This Women's Royal Rumble match, to me, feels like it's going to be a bootleg bullshit version of the real thing. And all the while, it's just going to kill some of my buzz, kill some of my energy level for that night for the freaking Royal Rumble. The one that really counts, the one that really matters. I don't know. I mean, so many of these women's matches that we have, some of them, very, very good. Many of them, not so much. Now you're taking a lot of these women, some of them that obviously deserve a spot like this in a moment like this, and many of them who frankly do not, and you're expecting them to pull this off. Now some of you are going to talk about main eventing pay-per-views and Hell in a Cells and Money in the Bank matches and the women and so on and so forth. Da, 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 da. The Royal Rumble is an entirely different type of match. It's an entirely different type of thing. You don't have weapons. You don't have different things that you can use and incorporate to pull this shit off. And how many times do we see the WWE can't pull off a five-minute women's match? Now we're supposed to be excited about the possibility of them pulling one off that goes 45 minutes to an hour? Give me a break! Be excited if you want, but I'm not. I think this is kind of stupid at this time. Maybe in the future, if you had a better roster, if you had better talent, fine. But I do not feel like it's the time or the place... But it's ultimately what we're getting. And to that, I ultimately say, humbug.